low is a continuous reflux still so it does everything in one go here we've got some sugar based mesh could be wine solids free we've got pump here Here we got some spirits coming out. Okay, uh, what we've got here is a water distributor and water intake, water coming in through the system. Here's water coming out. There's another condenser. So we've got two stages. The first stage is the stripping, it's a stripping cone here. And everything that produces this stripping cone is supplied into this distributor tube and it's connected with the second column. We've got some spirit here, I don't know if you could see it. So everything supplied in here, then it goes into the uh, fractional column, here's a boiler, and all, all steel operates on the steam, there's a steam generator, there's no contact of heating elements with uh, any mesh or spirits, everything is separate. Uh, what we've got here? Is the first stage it's a separation of the tails we can control it the amount of the tails to cut it's coming here you can see it dribbling it's the first stage oops sorry then we've got our second stage, we can use, we've got some temperature control, it shows the temperature over here, you can control it with reflux, or whatever percentage you need, the flavor, everything is controllable, so here's a reflux valve, I've got silicon tube here, You can see some liquid accumulated in there, so it's returned into the column. Is a reflux, and you can control it. The top one is the head fraction control, so you can remove more or less. It's just up to you. It all depends on the, on the settings, what you want to get, how much you want to get. Quite tall, and here we've got some heads. You can see the dribbling constantly reduced from the column. So everything is continuous. You set it up once and technically forget about it, just make sure you've got water supply, you've got mesh supply, electricity uh, is a water in a steam generator so it's water supplied constantly and it controls by the valve and here in a water distributor and water distributor distributes water uh, throughout the whole system and, uh, including cooling uh, is another level here you can see the level of the mesh and you should keep it somewhere in the middle so it's a control tube
Here you've got a mesh supply. This one. It's a mesh supply, mesh coming in. And here is a spent mesh coming out constantly. Currently we got it at 90%. Uh, I've got this mesh sitting for about two months. It's quite low in percentage and the speed of production depends on the uh, actual percentage of the alcohol in the mesh. So you won't expect the same result from the 5-6% mesh or beer or wine. If you compare it with 12% or 15% one. As I said, you can uh, control the quality, the percentage. It's up to you how much flavor you want to get in your brew. But technically, uh, it's a neutral alcohol. You can make vodka, you can make anything from that. It's not a fuel steel too complex for fuel steel, fuel steel is a little bit more simpler than this one so here we've got breathing system it allows the column to breathe to be connected to the atmosphere plus it catches all the extra vapors and supplies it back into the column can see it's not enough. There's no light in there. Try to find some light. Anyway, try to make some overview. Not enough space in the workshop. So it's quite tall, two columns in series, one common steam generator, box for two columns. And this system is two kilowatt, uh, four kilowatt one, 220 240 volts. silent you can't hear anything and it's very mobile you can lift it up not that heavy and uh, it doesn't occupy a lot of space quite complex to build though but anyway here's an overview thank you